I'm not burning. I'm not burning. I don't have a parody. I don't. I'm not burning. I'm not going. Where are my luggage? Where is my passport? I'm not going anywhere. I'm telling you, these ICC cases, they are stubborn like Miguna. <laughs> we bought an air ticket and we bundled these ICC cases onto a plane, but <laughs> the ICC cases are saying, I'm not boarding. I'm not boarding. I'm not. I'm not boarding. <laughs> well, on a more serious note, there are some very compelling reasons why these ICC cases will not board and leave and go away and accept to be deported forever from Kenya. Now, the interesting thing is that both I and my colleague here, Hezron, agree that these cases will not go away. However, we have different reasons. And let us start with my colleague's reasons. Na kuambia Chris, sijuwe ni journalist na gani. Si journalist anatakiwa peane two sides. Wewe kila saa unapeana tu one side, one side kila saa. Alafu unawacha the main reason. Hizi kesi hazuwezi kupotea kwa sababu tu ya kitu moja. Damu ya binadamu. Unajua ba, damu ya binadamu si damu ya kuku. Ile damu yote ilimwagika hapa Kenya nikiona na macho yangu. Ai ai ai. Hiyo damu iwezi potea. Alafu unajua jamaa anaitwa Mesha Kebe. Unakumbuka yeye? Wale wazee uko kwa Kalenjin walisema nini? Walifanya vitu zao, alafu akasema ule mtu ama wale watu waliua Mesha Kebe lazima wapatikane. Na watapatikana usicheze na madawa ya Kalenjin. The long and short of what my colleague is saying is that the blood of the 2007 clashes victims is crying out from the ground to God Almighty. That's really what he's saying. Now, I did a video in March over seven months ago yeah, talking in detail about the revival of the ICC cases. Now, of course, many of you did not take it seriously. Yeah, In the comments area, yeah, people said, oh, how can these cases come back? Impossible. Oh, Chris, you're cooking your things. You're cooking. There's nothing like that. Anyway, in that video, I detail about a man called Meshak Ebe. Yeah, a man who turned from prosecution witness to defense witness. <laughs> very, very funny incident. Yeah, And even his very, very gory murder, where his relatives and those close to him positively identified the body. Only for another family to come and claim the body yeah with the dna evidence etc etc and then the body turned up again yeah on in savo national park <laughs> and ultimately before he was buried the kalenjin elders performed some rites and some rituals and they said the killers of the bay will definitely be found in other words what they were saying is that this case will not go away. It will not just disappear like that, like other murders and assassinations in Kenya. Now, there should be a link on the top right-hand corner of your screen, yeah, in case you missed that uh, set of videos, which tells you a lot about the ICC cases. Yeah, you can go over to them now and watch them. But let me give you my compelling reasons yeah, why these cases will not just disappear like that. Number one, None of the issues related to the clashes have been resolved. Many people who are chased away from their land have not uh, returned. And of course, all the troubles were triggered by a stolen election. Yeah, elections in Kenya are still being stolen. So you tell me what has been resolved. Actually, zero. Nothing. So... How can the cases just go away? Okay. Number two, the SEC uh, prosecution office are telling us that they're still receiving information and evidence yeah, in connection to those clashes. Now, this is hardly surprising, and I'll tell you why. 
In preparing the Kenyan cases, ICC prosecutors took witnesses, dozens of witnesses, out of the country. And they put these individuals into something called a witness protection program. That means the identity are changed, they are settled somewhere else, you know, they just start life anew. Now obviously, these people cannot come back to Kenya. Most of these people are victims. They are still very bitter. Indeed, they are devastated that they did not receive justice. And so, it is hard to imagine yeah, that these people can forget about this business. Yeah, completely forget about what happened in 2007. And settle in their new lives somewhere in the West. Naturally, these people will jump at any opportunity to assist in the revival of the cases. Number three, and most important, it was reported yeah, at the time the Kenyan cases were terminated that this was a major blow to the international criminal courts at The Hague. Indeed, the international media said at the time that this was a threat to the very continued existence of the courts. And so I need to ask you a question. Supposing you are working in the office of the prosecutor at The Hague, would you just relax and say, uh, okay, forget about the Kenyan cases? Would you do that? I mean, these people have their professional reputation at stake. Yeah, why? Because it would appear that they presented cases that could not stand up in court, and therefore they were thrown out. These individuals cannot move on with their lives. Yeah, this is something which is unresolved, which they have to fight to resolve. They cannot afford to let the matter rest. And that, my friends, is the reason why, as much as we try and force them onto the plane, the ICC cases are screaming back, we are not boarding. We are not. Now, politically speaking, this is a political disaster waiting to happen. Why? Because even if nobody is prosecuted, this is an issue that will definitely come up in political campaigns. Now, it is true that Kenyans vote tribally. Yeah, they have done that in the past. However, there's emerging evidence countrywide yeah, that the issue of voting tribally is proving less and less attractive to Kenyan voters by the day. You see what has been happening in the past. Voters in Kenya have not been connecting yeah, the electioneering period yeah, and the elections with their day-to-day -day lives, believe it or not. Elections in Kenya have been a time to protect your tribe and to protect the interests of your tribe, yeah, completely divorced from any national interests. Yeah. So the result has been, during the electioneering period, you receive money, you have fun, you have excitement, and then you suffer for five years. And then another election comes, rinse and repeat. Exactly the same thing is repeated. However, as I've said on this channel many times, there's a teacher called the stomach. And when this teacher speaks, you have to pay attention. Upende, usipende. And if you don't believe me, you should have listened to the submissions, yeah, to the Senate, yeah, when the House visited the Rift Valley. They gave the government a dressing down. They gave the senators a dressing down. Going forward, it is easy to see how tribe will become less and less of a factor. It is very clear, at least to me, that the next elections will be very issue-oriented. Yeah, Indeed, the most issue-oriented general elections we have ever seen in these shows. And when that happens, corruption will be a major issue on the table. The ICC cases, yeah, the hanging and concluded ICC cases, will be an issue. If you're a candidate, how you acquired your wealth will be a very major issue. I'm aware of the fact that this sounds nothing more than a pipe dream. 
to most of us but let us just wait and see now before i go i'd like to focus on one other reason why the icc cases will not go away and that reason is a man called chile a boy osuji that is the nigerian man who was elected president of the icc in march 2018 march this year now that is a man who knows kenya very well between the years of 2005 and 2007 yeah judge osuji played a very active role on the international criminal tribunal on rwanda based in arusha tanzania in 2007 He briefly went to serve in Sierra Leone yeah but returned in 2008 now Arusha is barely 4 hours away from Nairobi but what is more is that i have information that this nigerian judge used to frequent nairobi he was very familiar with the situation in kenya he became extremely familiar with kenyan politics that cannot be good news to anybody who wants these cases the icc cases to board and live forever to vanish to disappear in other words this judge who used to be a human rights lawyer knows where all the bodies are buried so to speak he knows kenya very well now granted a judge is not a prosecutor however a judge gives rulings and directions in court that ultimately impact on the outcome of any case and as was very evident during the cases yeah the kenyan cases in 2014 and earlier defense lawyers rely very heavily yeah on presenting doubt and poking holes in the evidence presented against uh, the person they're defending yeah by heavily re- leaning on the lack of knowledge yeah and indeed in some cases ignorance yeah in the judges listening to this case yeah ignorance and lack of knowledge on how things work in Kenya this can never be an issue in a local court where the judges understand the local situation very well However, it is a completely different ball game in an international court. You know as they say, the devil is in the details. Now, with a judge like Judge Osuji heading the criminal courts at the Hague, briefing the judges, yeah, and assigning the judges to various cases. And this is a man who knows Kenya very well, yeah, at least much better than most of the other judges. then the whole ball game changes it changes very dramatically bottom line if the icc ever reopens a case and files fresh charges against anybody in kenya you can be sure that the chances of a successful prosecution are going to be much higher that my friends should be very clear until next time This is Chris Kumekucha. The cartels in Kenya, yeah, are so powerful. It is impossible for the government of Kenya to bring them down. And that is why the latest moves by the DEA in the United States is causing quite a lot of jitters back home here in Kenya they were not under any circumstances going to lose their grip yeah their grip on power but there's something else the cartels that had started doing way back in 2007 yeah they started fielding candidates in uh, very prominent powerful political positions so that their influence would remain guaranteed and we're going to name those individuals shortly 